Steelers officially signed Hakeem Butler to the 90-man roster after giving him a camp invite. Now, if you guys remember back in 2019 when the Steelers drafted Deontay Johnson, a lot of Steelers fans wanted the team to draft Hakeem Butler instead. But, of course, the management made the right decision, obviously. Still, though, Hakeem Butler is extremely talented physically. He's six foot five, ran a 4.49 40-yard dash, and he had a season-ending injury with the Cardinals. Things went up and down for him in his career, but he's here now, so you can't really judge him because he was drafted by the Cardinals, and that's simply not a real organization. And then the Eagles signed him, tried to move him to tight end, and then they gave him like a goal line fade on fourth and goal. I think it was one of his first games as an Eagle too. Didn't go so well. Obviously, that's not a high percentage play on a fourth and goal situation. You shouldn't be throwing goal line fades to dude who just got there. And then the Eagles cut him, which ended up being a great thing for him because he goes on to be the best wide receiver in the XFL and now is in a perfect position with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Sometimes it just takes more time for one player to find the right spot for himself. You know, injuries, all those things happen. But he's here now, and I think you could take Gunnar Ofshetsky's job if Calvin Austin can beat out Gunnar Ofshetsky for the special teams role. Because if that happens, then what is Gunnar Ofshetsky better at than a guy like Hakeem Butler? Nothing as a pure wide receiver. In fact, Gunnar actually lost the Steelers the Week 2 Patriots game. So I definitely think he can make this roster. But let me know what y'all think about Hakeem Butler in the comment section down below. The Steelers definitely have a thing for these bigger guys when it comes to wide receivers and tight ends. Darnell Washington, Zach Gentry, of course, George Pickens, and Miles Boykin now adding Hakeem Butler. So, you know, there's a theme going on here. But again, let me know what y'all think about Hakeem Butler and will he make the all 53-man roster. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video, though. That is it for me on this one. Peace.